I just want to do a breakdown for you guys on why educating yourself about plants and plant health care is so critical if you're a lawn care guy. And it boils down to money, and I realize that everybody doesn't need a bunch of money. There are people who retire to do this job. That's why it's the greatest job in the world. Um, and that's why we all love what we do, even though some people just absolutely despise it. Um, when it's your gig, it's your gig, right? And, and this is what I'm made to do. So how do I make this into a profitable career where I can feel like I've maximized my potential and earned what I deserve to earn? I was not able to make the money that I felt I was deserving of when I was mowing grass. And the problem was is that mowing grass alone just isn't enough. Because you go out, you mow a yard, you get 50, 60, 75 bucks, you know what I mean? It takes 20 minutes. But there's a lot of prep, there's a lot of maintenance, there's a lot that doesn't go into that um, math when you're first getting started because you don't realize how much maintenance costs, how much new parts cost, uh, how much troubleshooting can cost, um, and then just how much equipment depreciates and devalues and uh, how much you constantly have to replace it. Not to mention the laborers and the damages that they can cause um, and keeping laborers to do this work so here's the thing. Let's break it down financially. Just look at the spreadsheet. If you do mowing, you're going to have to have, I mean, sure, you could have a smaller mower, you know, um, like a little push mower, a couple hundred bucks, and you could throw it in the trunk of a car, I suppose. Um, but what, if you're doing that, you can maybe cut five lawns a day if you're lucky, maybe eight if you're really busting it and they're close. So you make eight times we'll say $50 for each easy, easy math for 400 bucks. Okay. Now, if you had a little two gallon hand sprayer, you would have spent $20. And if you bought the right chemicals, you could spend another hundred dollars on product. You don't have to spend any equipment fuel. So really the product cost is actually less than the product of a mowed lawn because the fuel that you're gonna burn mowing the grass is actually more expensive than the insecticides that you're gonna apply on the lawn. Um, and truthfully, the lawn is not where you're gonna make all your money because most people don't care if the lawn is has some insects as long as it looks good, but nobody wants their expensive pretty bushes to die because when you lose balance in your landscape, you can't easily replace it. It's a very expensive replacement. So when I'm going around teaching you guys about the bushes and about the insect and disease problems that they have that are treatable, that we can treat to help people, what I'm doing is saying, hey, when you go mow that yard, dude, take five seconds and check out their dang bushes, especially if it's jumping out at you and clearly is dying. Go do what I'm doing and look for the things that I'm showing you and then talk to your customer and say, hey, listen, here's, here's the deal. You can show them my video if you want and be like, I can treat this for you and I can add another 50 bucks. And you can go and you can treat that bush, maybe it's once a month, maybe it's every other month, maybe it's just a one-time treatment, but you show up to mow a grass now and you spend literally $20 extra plus the $100 in product, which lasts you probably for tons of treatments, just tons of treatments. You're basically showing up with no cost and making an extra $50 at each stop. You just turned a $400 business into an $800 business. You doubled your income. Actually, you did more than doubled your income. You doubled your sales. You probably more than doubled your income. So that's why. That's why the education is important, guys.